direct message me please please message me or at least reply to my twitter social networks and what it is that they're going to mean for our future, um, our society, and, and basically the growth of our children. Um, when you think about what kids have to go through today, we have seen a rise in suicides uh, in the past probably three to, to five years, maybe a little longer. We've seen more suicides uh, than, than, let's say, 15 years ago. What I, uh, it's, it's, it's not a, uh, a defined theory, but I believe this to be true. I believe that social networking is, is a major catalyst in that. But this is why. Mainly because when we were getting bullied. Oh, it seems like you've been avoiding me. Is that so? That was totally untrue. I'd simply found a new route to school and a new locker, and a broom closet on the second floor. We could go home, and when we went home, we were a brand new person. We were, we were no longer um, that, that kid who was getting picked on. We were no longer that, um, that person who felt inadequate. We were just a brother or a sister or a son or a daughter. Do you like me a whole lot? <laughs> Look, don't get sloppy on me. I might slug you one. And that was our role, and we, we, we accepted that role, and we went out grocery shopping with, with our parents, and it was, it was done. You were completely new. You were, un, you were untouched by those people from school. As Eddie worked out his deep-seated feelings of inadequacy, I began to realize something. Sooner or later, this would be over. Whereas now, Kids are going home, and they are no longer untouched. They're opening up their laptop, and they're seeing the same bullying, and they're hearing the same things. They're feeling the same inadequacies. There is no escape. They're picking up their phone, and they're getting a Facebook alert, and the same comments they're saying, or the same people who are all friends commenting with each other, and they, they're not able to comment on their post because they're not cool enough or whatever it is. And that inadequacy just gets exponentially driven to the point where they just feel unaccepted everywhere, no matter where they are. So, uh, I, I agree with you. These kids today, it's like, uh, you, you're not, somehow you're not human. You're not part of civilization if you are not giving up all your information and showing everything off. And it's like, for fuck's sake, it's like, you know, we're not movie stars where, where your privacy is taken away from you. We're, we're regular citizens who fucking have to work our asses off for everything. So as adults, why would you want to be totally hooked in like that? I don't know. As for kids, that's what kids do, and I would agree with you. Suicides and all that, of course. You're never escaping it. And um, it's disgusting. And it's, you know, I don't know what to say about that. And I, I said, our kids, they're not going to have cell phones when they're fucking 10 years old. They're not going to have access to internet. Like, there's a time and a place they don't need to have all this kind of stuff. If it's educational purposes and it's done under the supervision of a parent, that's one thing. But you're not going to have a computer in your own room and close the door and God knows what you're surfing. I don't think so. That's what a parent's job is, to make sure that none of that kind of stuff happens.